dvork, also a very traditional Russian treat, or maybe it's not a kind of candy or something, but it's it's like called like that, dvork, and there is always an ongoing debate whether it is called that stress should fall on one syllable or another, what is the correct pronunciation, tvorok or tvorok, but it looks like it's uh, undetermined and could not be determined. So this is its shape uh, and uh, tvorok is translated as quark in uh, English, but in school we were taught to pronounce it as uh, curd. Uh, English sources listed as uh, fresh cheese, which we currently do not consider cheese and also it has different uh, fat uh, uh, fat parts, fat, fat degrees sometimes they make it uh, at home and it's not that complicated and uh, kefir people also sometimes make it at home because uh, they use that special um, foundation for the drink which uh, or which we call the mushroom kefir mushroom which they put inside a glass of milk or a bottle of milk and then the natural fermentation turns the milk and uh, actually the, the kefir uh, tvorek is very healthy good uh, to your bones and to, but uh, it's not always sweet it's not sweet at all so that's why it since it uh, has uh, it's rich in uh, material which uh, are useful for bone formation it is normally fed to kids uh, but since it's not sweet they refuse to eat it and then people came up with this which is called tvarožne massa or the quark mass which is uh, basically tvorek which has which is sweetened and has raisins in it and and this actually is a treat see raisins here um, another type of dairy product we have here in Russia is uh, also familiar to you I think it's called the cottage cheese Damashni uh, sir or zernisty tvorek uh, which is more or less the same uh, grained uh, uh, quark and it, it has uh, grains of uh, it, it, it consists of grains with some uh, some some liquid whey presume it is called talking about treats so we have this product which may be really tiny and you don't spot it uh, immediately in, in the shop. It's called uh, Sorok Tvarozhny or Little Cheese and it's uh, translated as curd snack because uh, inside it has that Tvorok but it's covered with uh, chocolate coating or glazed with coating that's why it's called Glazirovany also glazed Sorok. It could be... Uh, normally it has a taste of vanilla but it could uh, contain a lot of uh, different uh, flavors uh, could be of different flavors it could contain raisins or uh, coconut uh, whatever now they are very inventive these days but again this is uh, also mimicking the old Soviet design uh, another branch of uh, dairy products is um, processed uh, cheeses were very popular in Soviet Union as a snack for vodka too and for for a tourist kit uh, it's called this is one of the most iconic called Druzhba uh, friendship this one called coral coral and uh, this uh, has a taste of uh, shrimp or prawns and has a uh, lightly orange color here is approved by uh, astronauts or cosmonauts so uh, presumably they took it in 
space with them. Last but not least is uh, this kind of cheese, which is uh, like sticks, quite flexible sticks, and it's uh, smoked. It's a real cheese, and uh, it's uh, it has its origin in uh, Caucasus region, and. Uh, quite popular in my country, in Russia, and uh, some people use it as a snack for, say, beer. And it's fragrant. Yeah, it smells of, uh, of being smoked. These were most popular dairy products in my country. I do not claim that I covered them all, I just covered the ones I tried myself that were popular when I was a kid in Soviet Union, that is in 80s, and uh, which are still available in uh, shops here in Russia. And uh, you also got familiar with that phenomenon of mimicking old design patterns which were popular in Soviet Union well, decades ago. Thank you for your attention. See you soon. Bye.